Hello, everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Acts chapter 4, verse 12, as well as Romans chapter 8, verse 7. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Father God, for this word, Lord Jesus. Bless us as we endeavor to think and chew on your word, God. Help us to have wisdom and understanding in its application. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, Acts chapter 4, verse 12. And there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and read the second verse the Lord gave me, Romans chapter 8, verse 7. For the mind that is set on the flesh is hostile to God, for it does not submit to God's law. Indeed, it cannot. All right, you guys. So um, the thing the Holy Spirit was showing me about this um, scripture, it's about the opposition that they are to each other, right? It says, for the mind that is set on the flesh is hostile to God. So when you have your mind set on the flesh, a mindset is a form of worship right? A mindset is saying that I'm giving up the the core of my thoughts. I'm giving up the core of my time. I'm giving up the core of my talent towards this thing, right? It's a mindset. And so when you're set on something, that is the direction you are going, right? So if you are having your mind set on your flesh that is speaking of your carnal nature your your desires right the things of your flesh the things that your mind wants your body wants your emotion wants causing you to be the center of it all and everything else revolving around you in essence what you're doing is making yourself a god right you're making yourself sit on the throne of your own heart and leading yourself right Right? So it says, for the mind that is set on the flesh is hostile to God. Why? Because you've taken his position on the throne and you've given it to yourself. So that's a mind that is hostile to God, right? It says, for it does not submit to God's law. Indeed, it cannot. All right. So it says, for it does not submit to God's law. What does not submit to God's law? Your flesh, right? It is not going to bow down. It is not going to begin to think on the word of God and, you know, let me sit and think and maybe I'll come upon it and I'll decide that, you know, God is real. No, it, it that's not the way it works. It does not work unless he first draws you, right? And he as he's drawing you, if your mindset is on the flesh and you refuse the draw of the Lord, the draw of the Holy Spirit, if you choose to continue on your path of you being at the center, then there's no, that you are hostile to God. You're in a hostile state towards God. It is for the mind, that is set on the flesh is hostile to God for it does not submit to God's law indeed it cannot and for us we we don't we're not under the law right we're under the grace of God and and but we still observe read study and understand the law so that we can understand the heart of God and the essence the the spirit that is behind the law so so when we're studying his law we're studying his word we're studying his precepts we're studying um the principles that are there as they relate to us as um those who have been made righteous all right and it says um for it does not submit to god's law indeed it cannot 
that, right? So that that person, that mindset, that flesh that it cannot submit to God's law. It it refuses his his leadership, right? All right. And so let me go back um, to Acts 4.12. And it says, there is salvation in no one else. For there is no other name under heaven given amongst men by which we must be saved. So that is in direct opposition to what the flesh wants to do, right? So in essence, what the flesh has to do, um, what your mindset has to do, if you want to become saved at that point with your flesh being at the center, then you have to at some point renounce the flesh and turn to Christ. There is no other name under heaven by which men must be saved, right? Uh, because in, in, in if you are with a mindset towards yourself, then you're going to miss that, right? You're going to, you're going to turn away. You're going to reject that. But if you turn towards it and you, you, you leave behind that old throne, you kick that old throne over and replace it with a new throne with Christ sitting on the throne of your heart. Um, you are not in direct opposition. Why? Because you are not um, worshiping the things of the flesh. You are, are, are of salvation it says, and there is salvation in no one else not even in yourself there's no salvation in you it's all in Christ it says for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved God wants to save us God wants to deliver us God wants to set us free but first you must realize that he is and he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him he is a God who who is not sharing this throne with anyone he's not sharing his position with anyone there's no other name that we can be saved under it's all through christ amen all right let's pray thank you father god for this word lord jesus thank you for for balance lord jesus thank you for strength thank you for hope lord god help us to walk in your ways in the name of jesus we pray amen all right you guys if there's anybody out there who would like to receive jesus as their savior and lord go ahead and pray this prayer with me but more than anything believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth dear lord jesus i ask you to come into my heart i make you my lord and savior jesus i believe you died on the cross and i believe you rose again on the third day so that i could be saved thank you father god for doing this forgive me for all of my sins in jesus name i pray amen all right you guys if you pray that prayer and believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you into the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus himself when he comes to redeem his church. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you, his children, his peace. Take care.